go to the second leg and bring in Gary Coe. And here at the par three, Dan, Phil Mickelson on the tee. up today so hole playing just 177 yards although it is back into the breeze oh, the beauty from Mickelson. that's one of the best we've seen this afternoon so Mickelson with a golden opportunity to get up to three under par it was a majestic iron shot just high towering little draw back to this whole location got a putt now Gary that is a little bit down the hill not overly fast at all though and I have to think it's going to break toward the lake which is to his left. Well, Mark, uh, we'll see. This hole has been a fooler today. Most of the players have seen exactly what you say, but the ball just doesn't seem to want to do it. Well, that was pushed. That was not his best effort there. 18th, 553 yards. We're going to pro trace Mickelson's tee shot here. Technology presented by Capital One Commercial Bank. Dan, I would think you're going to see this one going from the right to the left and ride the wind. Take two big hits. Is it going to leak in the bunker, Mark? It's going to be close, that's for sure. That's good. That's good lie. It's setting up even better than the fairway. And this is a fun par five, Jack. Winds calm today. Mickelson giving it a go here from 257. Ball is coming out of the intermediate rough, which actually should take a little spin off it. He this looks it. pretty good. Yes, it is just on the front edge. Man, that was going right at the flag. You can see not much movement on that flag at all as those huge breezes that whipped across the Honda yesterday. I mean, he swung a, a bit. He swung about as hard as he could and dead flushed it. I looked at, it looked like he did, he was a little unlucky. It looked like it hit and sort of died right there. Yeah, I don't think the break is going to be the real issue here. I think it's going to be more yeah. of the pace. Actually, okay. everything kind of goes okay, away from on. the hole once you get to the hole. So getting the right pace is not going to be easy. 68 feet. And it is putting away from the setting sun. See a shadow? Uh, easy to leave it short five or six feet if you didn't watch out. Be a heck of a way to wind up a third round, huh? Yeah, he's got to put this up a little bit of a hog's back and the drainage up there by the hole goes off to the left side of the green, which far right. Nice putt. Yeah, good pace. Nice putt. Well played hole there. Good tee shot. Great second. So it'll be a two putt birdie for Mickelson. 42 career PGA Tour wins. Again, comes into this tournament off back to back missed cuts, but you never know when Phil's going to light it up. Begins his final round. Six back. This is the first driver I've seen off this tee in a while. It's headed up the right hand side. It is downwind today, but uh, it was nailed. There's no that's doubt about that's that. That's catching it, Johnny. Yeah, it is. And uh, see if you can take advantage of it. He might even be thinking please, about holding you. it, knowing him. I'll tell you, it's interesting, Johnny. I talked to him in the break for a little bit, and he was echoing your sentiments about the way he had played that 18th hole. Loved the way he played it. And he felt like he was carrying a lot of momentum out here this afternoon. And I think that's why he hit driver. Well, Phil talked about it before he cranked up his season, how he was in the best shape he's been in a long time. Now, we've heard that from Phil through the years, but Butch Harmon echoed it, and everybody that uh, saw Phil get ready for the season said. So he's six shots back. He's got to take advantage of every one of these opportunities, and that was not even average. Just not bad, though. Well, Phil will have a birdie attempt right at the first here. As we go back to the first. And Mickelson with a chance to start with a birdie. Almost has to make everything you can make to make up that deficit. Well, that's a start. That is really a big confidence boost after the way he finished the third round. At the second. This is Phil Mickelson's third shot. Drove it in the left rough, unable to hit the green. In regulation, this is running right at the hole. <laughs> nice touch. Up to the par five third, Mickelson off the tee, Mark. What a temporary lull in the wind. And this one is pounded. 
Well, we saw the drive he unleashed at the first. Well, Johnny, all I know is that on Friday, Phil almost drove the ball into the hazard. In fact, he played his second shot with his feet inside the hazard line. I thought he was laying up, curved it around all the trees and knocked it on the green from over there. So if he can do that, he better knock it on the green from 247. It's a good tee shot. At 118 miles an hour club head speed with that tee shot. It is on a good line. He said, be right as it ever on a good line. Phil Mickelson, talk about making up for damage earlier at this hole. He could get it all back here with that eagle. Wow. He says, is it good? And Bone says, they all clapped like it was. Well, he knew right away when he struck that, that it was the shot. Yeah, that's got to be over. Yeah, she did a fantastic job. Second shot, beautiful soft landing. Second for 247. Now has this for a chance to get it to six under and within three, just like that from Poulter. Timing is so important, I think, Johnny, on holding putts. And, and this is the time now to make a statement. There is not much break, if any, here. Maybe inside left. That just glazed over the edge. First putt he's missed inside 10 feet all day, counting the third round and these two holes. It was 15 for 15 till that miss. Uh, definitely some help and definitely some left to right. I'd say a little half, half of each. There's definitely a few yards of help for sure. 31, 21 and 10 right at it. Okay, green light special here for Phil. Gonna play about 125. Five miles an hour wind is all. Nicholson beginning this final round with two birdies in the first three holes. So like Casey, they're the two that have put the most pressure on Poulter in the early stages. Good looking shot here. And a little more pressure applied by Mickelson. Have a good look at another birdie. Could be three birdies in the first four holes. Twice. Well, big putt for Phil. He's got to run the table. Oh, oh, didn't fall. Man, that looked good. Where Mickelson is on the tee, four back. 74 yards. See that wind it should be left or right. It's a good looking shot. Just caught the wrong side of that ridge. You can see the end of the green putt to the top of the hill. Mickelson looking over this birdie attempt. Mark? Well, it's an interesting putt, Dan. It's a little bit downhill at first and then goes sharply up the hill about two thirds of the way into the putt. It's got some left hand break. Pretty good left hand break right in the middle of it. Not an easy putt to make. He's trying to make it go right. It started to come back. Yeah, it didn't really break the way he thought. The mark was closer to right. But well played. And still plenty of holes left. Again, you got the bear trap looming ahead. Two to six, Jake. Very difficult tee shot here. This is key. Mark, were you right there? Peter, it is a tough tee shot. Wind coming from the left and into. Pretty good looking swing by Phil there, though. Yeah, that was perfect. I think this hole and the next hole are key for Mickelson if he wants to win this tournament. Over to the sixth. Mickelson now looking at this second shot. Mark, that hole location is in that back left, but he can use the slope to get this close. And yeah, we're going to see Peter just how urgent he thinks the situation is right about here. It's a dangerous pin. And it's toward the center of the green. And can it hit the slope? Oh, it did not hit that slope. I was talking to Mickelson over the winter, and he and his trainer, Sean Cochran, decided to go to work and try to lose some weight, get stronger. So he went on to that caveman diet or the paleo diet, and 
He picked up a lot of swing speed. Keep it together, but he's got a tough sixth hole. We better keep, get it going before he plays that hole. That's usually the hardest hole in the course. And that's where we go now. Yeah, Mickelson's got this long putt for birdie mark. It's down the hill. It's going to pick up speed, but I don't think there's a lot in this putt. No, this is one you really have to feel. I think it's going to go a little left in the middle of the putt. Oh, you just heard him scream, go. He had it right on line. Aaron, be playing three. And we'll oh, get back no. to him in a moment. First to six. Yeah, this is Mickelson for his par. And oh. as he said earlier in the week, he's just not completely comfortable on Bermuda grass greens. He's a West Coast guy, more, more uh, comfortable on bent grass or Poanya. And that is a very sloppy, well, what looks to be a three putt. He's not done yet. Well, he had been putting fantastically well uh, this week until that. And he said he's not worried at all about his putting. He said he can get it back quickly. And he's been pretty good today. So a drop shot here at the sixth after a perfect tee shot and a conservative second. And Mickelson benefits, obviously, from the pol Poulter double. He's back within three. He hits this at the 197 yard par three, squinting into the sun. Just almost hole high. Not a bad spot. That was not a good performance back on six green. This is not that hard a putt. He's got it pretty much on the right level here, front part of the green. Oh! Yeah. Oh, no! How did that not go in? Mickelson settles for par, but again, he's just three back with Poulter's problems. We've got Reed and Poulter tied atop at seven under. Paul Casey, one back.